check it out. So what I've done is I've mounted this header, half of a header. I cut the header in off of its mounting bracket so I could split it up. Mounted half the header onto a piece of plywood, screwed the plywood into the 2x12 up there, and I'm starting to run these pipes in. So I want to show you how this is done. There's this little nut, right? And then there's this little crush compression type of uh, thing. I don't know what to call it. And then there's this thing. Come on. Okay. So, see that? It's got a little rubber O-ring, and this fits over the end of the pipe. Uh, I'm going to find a way to mount this camera so I don't have to hold it. Stand by. Alright, close enough. So, what you do, first thing you do is you put your nut, I don't think you can see this, can you? It's over there. Alright, so, you put your nut, this is not working. Uh, well, I'm just going to have to hold this thing because I'm running out of battery. So, first thing you do is you take your nut. You slide it on the end like that. Oh, don't drop that, please. Okay, so you stay your nut on the end like this. And then you put the compression thing on. Like this. Okay, and then you make sure you're going around all your wires. Oh, and then you don't forget this piece. This goes basically in the end like this. Everything works better when you have two hands. So that goes in the end. And then you put it basically up in that thing, like this. And I'll, normally with two hands, I would move this pipe to be in a better spot and then put it in. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you tighten your nut down. Cool. Okay, so I have the headers installed. See? It's going to look nice. So all the pipes are going in. These are all tight. I'm getting ready to do an air pressure test. Um, but with uh, before I do that, I'm going to redo the mount on this one. So normally this mount sits like this, but because this pipe's coming from behind here. Hey, so totally ran out of battery and then I got sidetracked and had something to eat. Uh, so I have my headers. Oh, I don't need to yell. I have my headers installed. Um, they're all set up ready to pressure test. This one I had to mount. Um, I flattened this bracket so that I can mount it. If you look up from the bottom, uh, you'll see that it's angled so that it can accept this pipe here. Uh, it comes behind the back, and that would be too much of an angle to try and come over and then like that. So uh, what, I, what I did realize is that I ran my pipes, got them set up, installed the headers, and I have them backwards. So this short pipe here is actually the return pipe. Um, and so I'm going to go downstairs and, uh, uh, so I already plumbed them in, but the shark bite fittings, like I said, are removable. So I'm just going to pull them apart and then, uh, switch them. So, that's what I'm going to do. So I put all these tubes in the ceiling before putting the floor down. One of the chances, one of the something. The bad part to putting the tubes down before you put your subfloor down is that you can put a nail through it, which I did. So I, uh, I did this so that I could show you guys, give you an example of what it's like. I mean, I would never put a nail through a tube. I mean, I'm better than that. Right. So there it is. I put a nail through that tube. I actually can't see up there, but maybe you can. Anyway, I couldn't pull that tube out, so I cut it on this side. Cut it on this side, drill the new hole, and put in a coupling. Can I tell you how awesome that is? How unbelievably easy it is to fix a leak? So psyched. So now I can go right back to pressure testing. All I did is put a little air in it, and bam, I heard. So we're going to do that again right now. So what I've done. Is I built this little valve thing, which is Schrader valve, and then a an eighth, and then a half, and then a three quarter, and then a three quarter or five eighths or I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I put a little air in it. All right, listen. Somewhere around here, there's a leak. So let's just find it. Right here. 
this thing? It's not very helpful. I don't hear any other leaks. I don't know how much this can hold. So I'm going to try and tighten that. Okay, more tips and tricks. So that last one, the curve, oh, so let me show you. So I got that installed. Da -da. But the curve and the end of these PEX pipes is wicked. Um, so what I'm doing on this one is I put this metal rod inside, which keeps that nice and straight. And if I leave that like that while I'm working on this, hopefully it'll kind of straighten it into line. So. Yeah, oh, uh, the other thing. So these things have a little temperature gauge that goes in here. Uh, take it out when you are working on around this stuff because I broke one, which is this one here. Uh, so I use this one now for pressure testing uh, and when I'm working around these things so I don't break another one. Uh, when you order your manifold, order another temperature gauge. They're wicked cheap, they're a buck. Um, and if you break one, you'll have it. If you don't break it, you'll have an extra. So. 